back. I didn't do a video Saturday. I didn't do one yesterday. I shot a video in Sunday school of my best friend Jerry uh, teaching a class on um, out of the uh, let me look it up and I'll tell you which book in the Bible it was. Just a second. I am still under the weather, folks. I really am. Uh, this is the longest I've ever been sick in my entire life. It's rolling on into about two months now. Z-E-P-H-A-N-I-A-H. Zephaniah. It's only got like um, let me back up here. Now uh, this thing's my My buddy Jerry's got a, a little thing that's got the Bible in it, and that's all it's got. I'm going to see if I can find one of those. Um, Zephaniah, it's only got three chapters in it. And we went through the whole book of Zephaniah. Very interesting book of the Bible. Let me plug my phone back in. Uh, and I got ill. Tomorrow is Pastor Larry Fry's funeral in Dallas at noon, and I can't make it. Uh, uh, it's in. It's uh, down at Arlington, Texas National Cemetery, and uh, it's at a funeral home in Dallas Fort Worth at noon, and then graveside services at two thirty. I would like to go. There's no way I can. Uh, number one, I'm not well enough to, as weird as that sounds. I did go take my wife to breakfast at Brahms. And I ran across Jerry and we had a slight chat. Um, and I called my second youngest adopted son, Mike Doust. Um, he did a wonderful memorial video for uh, Larry Fry that he'll be bringing to church Wednesday night and I'm going to try to make it to church Wednesday night. Um, my youngest adopted son Matt Stanley is ill. He's really, he pushes himself too hard. I got no room to speak here. I really don't but he, uh, he pushes himself too hard and he's really uh, I hope he takes everyone's advice and rests up to date. I can't really afford to right now. It's not a financial thing. It's a different thing. Linda will be coming out here to the office and working with me here after a bit. She's got to fire up her laptop and get everything rolling. We got a lot of work to do. Um, I tried permanently retiring from the agency I work for. Now, folks, I'm a lot older than I look, well past Social Security age. But um, my boss, who I'm not at liberty to divulge, um, um, got a hold of me, or I got a hold of him. Anyway, we connected last night. I wasn't going to because it's Sunday. I wanted him to have his Sunday to himself. But he he didn't, he can't really force me to continue, but he asked very nicely. I have a skill set that the other members in my unit do not have. And, uh, I'm not bragging when I say that, I just am a particularly adept investigator, have been most of my adult life. And uh, it's uh, something I'm really good at, so 
I'll be continuing for a bit, but I'm an old man, I'm ill, I have sugar diabetes type 2, I have Lazarus syndrome, which if you don't know what that is, you die periodically and you come back. Very uh, rare ailment. It uh, less than 1% of 1% of the world's population has it and I'm one of those lucky few. Sorry that it, you know, it's just uh, strange. And to my my subscriber, I can't remember her name, she's a very sweet girl. Uh, she uh, She's a friend of, of uh, Jersey Loves Steph and I I love Steph too. She's a good mom and a, a good person, but she said I uh, have Bell's palsy. I did get a hold of my doctor and yeah, I've got it. It's it's on the wane, I should say. It's leaving. At least now I can close my mouth all the way. Before I couldn't. I couldn't drink from a bottle. Um, as from a mild stroke I had a week ago yesterday and uh, it's uh, it's been interesting my life has uh, folks I've lived a life of high adventure and I'm paying for it right now I am I uh, wish I weren't. Um, I'm going to divest myself of some of my earthly uh, possessions. I'm getting ready to get me a website to uh, sell some of my art and some of my belongings. I'm thinking about DuckDuckGo, but one of the things probably none of you know except for maybe Monty Jones and my mom and my family. As a side hustle, I used to do signs, and I was really good at it. Um, that up there's one. KN Bread Talk Radio. Is a, it was a gag sign. I did, I, I've usually as strange as this is going to sound, I worked three jobs. A job job, and then I did radio for 22 years. I could go back to radio real easy, but I don't want to. I'm burnt out on everything just about. And then I had a side, uh, side hustle doing signs, hand-lettered signs, and sometimes... Uh, um, vinyl signs, but I did that for a long time, for like uh, 45, well, longer than that, years. Yesterday was my anniversary, been married to my sweetheart for 48 years, something like that. She's the best thing that ever happened to me, but what I'm getting ready to do which is relatively easy for me and I enjoy it. This is a, a plastic blank for a custom license plate and I'm getting ready to, to do a bunch of those with different artwork and stuff on it and then I'll find out uh, I'll get me a website and I'll probably have to pay a little for it but um, I've got toll paint over there, and I did a, a sign for my son Nicholas, a, a sign, a, uh, I did a, um, I did a custom, uh, it's my left arm I have a hard time lifting. My right one works just fine. But that is a custom license plate I did for him. I did it on a... Uh, I made the blank... Um, 
out of a uh, for sale sign I got at Walmart for a dollar. Let's see if I can find it down here. Yeah, there it is. I bought one of these and I turned it around. I had a steel Choctaw license plate that was hanging on my road, my wall, and I cut it out of that. Now see how flimsy that is. And then I, after I painted it, I covered it in this. Well, I had to, to do the, the uh, plastic over it because it was toll paint. And toll paint just is not good paint. It really isn't. But these are really thick. They're rigid. And I like that. So I got them off a sign company, I think, in, in Missouri, St. Louis, or it might have been New Jersey. I don't remember. But uh, I'm getting ready to do a bunch, including doing my son Brandon one to go on his car. But it takes me probably about 15 minutes to uh, do one of those, regardless of what's on it. I'm very quick, and uh, I'm pretty good at it. So when I, I get done, there will be a custom license plate, and uh, I've got to find a cheap source for... Uh, the metal frames to put them in. I'm, I'm going to be doing that today too, but the bottom line is that the, it's something I can do and charge about $30, 35 bucks each. I have, counting the blank and paint, I have probably about seven to ten dollars in each one depending on what it is and then if I sell a frame with it it'll be more than thirty thirty five bucks probably about forty I don't know I've got to find a good source for frames but of that I can make uh, I can make good part-time money you know and it's something I enjoy doing I don't enjoy my part-time job I don't enjoy being a consultant. I did a consulting job recently for an old client, and I get well paid being a consultant. I, uh, this one time only, I'll tell you what I get. I get $350 an hour, but they're paying for my expertise. I normally have a two-hour minimum on that. This last time, I charged one hour minimum. And the reason was it took me 12 minutes to get the information they wanted. Like I said, I'm a real good investigator. And that's why uh, my old employer I went back to work won't ask me not to quit. Um, I officially got out of it uh, June 3rd, 2006. I officially retired. I do get a stipend every month from them. Um, but now uh, my wife will be helping me on some of that and uh, she has done a little but I'm going to make sure she gets more than twelve dollars an hour out of the deal. Plus she likes the fact that she's working on stuff that's good for the country. The best way I can say it. Um, Anyway, I'm uh, I'm getting ready to uh, see what I can do to help other people in a big way. Um, we're still down to two vehicles. I've got to get some work done on my van and uh, try to get it back on the road. If that won't work, then I'll be selling the thing. Uh, it may need a new motor. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, and my son Nick went to work and then had to come home sick. He's, I think he's in bed. There's a lot of this stuff. I just call it the crud going around today. It really is. Um, 
there is. Now, I'm going to post this on both channels again. And, uh, try to get busy doing all the things I've got to do. A lot of babies being born right now, animal babies. Uh, Jerry's got a batch coming on. Linda and I drove by earlier and uh, uh, she's, Linda's got some baby goats on the way. I guess I need to get me a new pellet rifle. Maybe I can find one that's more accurate than the one my brother-in-law, J.D., has. <laughs> I hope so. Um, I, uh, I sincerely hope your day is going well. I really do. I'm, uh, mine's going pretty good. I feel better than I than I did yesterday. Yesterday was brutal. Um, I uh, took my wife to Brahms for breakfast. I think I already mentioned that. She liked the breakfast. I, I'm not a big Brahms fan. And uh, then I took her to get a couple of donuts. She's been craving donuts. You got to understand something about my wife. She does not ask for anything, hardly. And when she does, it's not for her. It's for, uh, for her critters. I think I need to name her Ellie Mae Clampett Jr. She's got critters all over the place. Um, I want you all to know that I do pray for you. I really do. I stay in prayer quite a bit. I've been praying for my late pastor's wife and family today a lot. Uh, they've got a big, big hurdle to jump over, and I'm sorry that it's hitting them like it is. Um, Sister Fry has her daughter and someone else I think helping her do stuff um, my friend my friend he's my friend but he's like my kid to me my son Mike Deoust will release a video I've already watched on YouTube on Springer Missionary Baptist Church's channel the one I posted Sunday school from yesterday on um, in remembrance of Larry Fry, let me tell you something. My wife and I both teared up last night walking, watching it. You just have to have known the man to truly appreciate how great he was. And like I told, told Jerry, or I asked Jerry, I, I said, are we going to get another pastor? And he said, yeah, but it's going to be a slow process. Larry Fry's got some impossibly big shoes to fill. Uh, never met a man like him except for my uncle Virg or my uncle. My grandfather Virgil Lance was of that caliber. And uh, that was my birth mother's father. He was an ordained minister, a true man of God. And uh He's basically who raised me in my formative years, him and my aunts and uncles. But know that this crippled, crazy old fat man loves you, I do, with my whole heart. And like that sign up there says, be kind. Be kind to anybody and everybody. And talk to people about Jesus. Promote the Savior. We all need to do that. Love you guys. God bless you and bye.